In this lecture, we're going to talk about Ranger 1.0. What is it and what does it do? Ranger 1.0 is an automated trading platform and it's built in Excel and it uses the interactive broker's Excel API. So what that means is it's going to get its market data and send its trades through interactive brokers. Okay, so if we look at our typical trading day, we can break our time into three blocks. We have a pre-market time where we're going to do our setup. Then we have our market hours where the market is open and we'll be sending trades, sending exit orders, or stops. And then we have our shutdown process where we're done trading or the market is closing and we need to automatically exit trades or shut down the system. So we want to automate any worksheet setup routines we have we want to request live market data automatically. We want to detect any setup errors automatically. And then when the market opens at exactly 8.30 in my time zone, we want to switch the system from pre-market mode to open mode. And then when the market is open, we want to automatically send our trades. We want to be able to detect target price and send exit orders. And we also want to look for our stop price. And if we get stopped out, we want to send our stop orders. We also want to automate any shutdown procedures we may have. So depending on your system, you may want to automatically close your trades after a set period of time, or you might want to define a time window for opening new positions. If you're day trading, you may want to close your open trades before the market close. For any positions we hold overnight, we want our system to save the trade data for those positions. And then for any positions we've exited, we want to automatically log our gains or losses. So let's take a look at a typical buy trade setup. Whatever your trading rules are, you probably have a price you want to buy at, a stop price, and a target price. And then your trade range would just be defined by the range between your buy price and your stop price. And these numbers don't have to be static. Your system can change them over time as market conditions change. But the system is currently set up to trade a breakout. That means that it's going to buy when the price breaks above your buy price. Now you can imagine the opposite of a breakout system would be a system that buys on a pullback, a system where you want to buy if the price dips below your buy price. You can easily change the setup to trade pullbacks, but for now just keep in mind that Ranger 1.0 is set up to trade breakouts. And if we look at a typical short selling trade, we have a similar setup except it's in the opposite direction. We have a stop price, a price that we want to short at, and a price target. So if we look at where these values are entered on our worksheet, we have our stock symbols up at the top, and here we have our buy price, and here we have our stop price. And above that, we have our price target. Now if we're short selling, we have our short target at the bottom, and then our short selling price uses the same cell as our stop price for our buy system. And then the upper cell is our short selling stop price. Here we have our control cell. This cell tells the system what to do when the range is broken. If we enter a B in the cell, the system will look for a buy trade. If we put an S in this cell, it will look for a short sell trade. If we enter a number, it will initiate a countdown timer in minutes. Here we have our live market data. And this is where our entry trade information is displayed. So when a trade is triggered to enter a position, you will see the information down here. Here you can see a buy trade and a short sell trade. We have our position, our buy or our sell, and our limit price. So if we look at our trading range again, these are the numbers the system will look at when it decides to send an order, to take profits, or to stop out. Now these numbers can be entered manually, or you can use formulas or algorithms to set these cell values. The same is true for a control cell. We can tell the system what to trade manually by just entering a B or an S, or we can build an algorithm or a function that puts a B or an S in this cell. Here we have a set of blank cells. Now you can use these cells to enter additional stock data or notes or you can put your formulas here. So let's say, for example, that your trading rules give you the following trade setup on the biotech index. 
You can enter these values along with trade setups on up to 50 other stocks that you want to watch. And the system will look for a breakout above your buy price for all of your trade setups and manage every trade that occurs for you, even while you're at work or away from the computer. No orders are submitted until your price is reached. This keeps your orders hidden. So for example, instead of sending a stop limit order through your broker, Ranger 1.0 will not send your order until your stop price is reached. Market makers, of course, can see stop orders. And so keeping your orders hidden gives you a slight advantage. The system is designed not to use market orders. So with market orders, you don't know what price you're going to get. But with limit orders, you can define the minimum price you want. And if you don't get your price, the trade simply will not occur. When managing stop out orders, the system will update any unfilled limit orders at set time intervals until the order is filled. Another key feature is partial fill order management. So for example, if you send a buy order and only half of your order is filled, and then the price goes up to your price target, this partially filled order will be canceled when your price target is reached. Then the system will submit an exit order to take profits. Also in the course, you'll learn about something I call smart position sizing. And you'll learn how to automatically size your orders so that you risk the same amount on every trade based on your range width. This way, you won't have several small wins completely outweighed by a large loss. Other features built into the system that you'll learn about in this course are timers, alarms and sounds, how to record live market data, and how to automatically log your trades. Then we'll go over how to do backtesting in Excel. I'll show you how to import historical data and get you started with a trading system that is already profitable. And you can optimize and improve it with your own ideas. In part two of this lecture, we'll take a look at a live version of Ranger 1.0 so you can see the system in action.